Price charts support resistance and trend lines. Price charts. There are three main types of charts that are going to give you information as you trade Forex. You need to analyze these charts so you can determine which currency pairs are a good buy and which ones you should sell or stay away from. Line charts. These charts give you a quick view of the major market trends in addition to support and resistance levels. Line charts are not meant to be used to trade off because they don't show you individual prices. However, if you are looking to see the market trend at a glance, line charts can be very helpful. Line charts show connections between two points in time. You can analyze a line chart from hour to hour or over a lengthier period of time. Bar charts. Bar charts show you a price bar for a set period of time. You can choose a monthly bar chart which will give you a price for each month a daily bar chart which will give you the price for the year, the month or the day or a 4 hour chart which will give you the price for each 4 hour period of time. All of these charts are open high low close bar charts, OHLC charts. These charts are more practical for trading than line charts because they show individual prices. Candlestick charts Generally, you will get the same information from a candlestick chart that you get from a bar chart, but the format is more visually satisfying. These charts show the high and low points over a given time period using a vertical line. The top line is referred to as the upper shadow and the bottom line is referred to as the lower shadow. These can also be called wicks on some charts. The major difference between candlestick charts and bar charts is how the opening and closing prices are displayed. The body of the candle is the range of prices between opening and closing. If the body is black or another dark color, the price closed lower than it opened. If the body is unfilled or a lighter color, the currency closed higher than it opened. The dark and light colors help traders to see the ups and downs of a currency more quickly than any other type of chart. This is the reason that candlestick charts are the most popular type of chart used in forex trading. Support and resistance. Before you can trade successfully on forex, you must understand the concepts of support and resistance. These are referred to often when analyzing trends, so you should familiarize yourself with the terms and their meanings prior to trading. Essentially, when a market is on an upward trend and it pulls back a bit, the highest point it reached before pulling back is called resistance. When it starts moving back up, the lowest point it reached before it restarted its upward trend is called support. These points are what gives the chart its zigzag appearance. Keep in mind as you look at the charts that support and resistance levels are not exact figures. You might see a support or resistance level that looks broken, but if you keep watching, you will see that the market was simply testing the level. These false broken levels are referred to as tests of support and resistance and can be readily seen on a candlestick chart. In many cases, a support or resistance level is truly broken if the market closes beyond that level. However, since this is not always true, it is beneficial to look at the support and resistance points on a line chart because a line chart only shows closing prices and not the individual highs and lows. The individual highs and lows can be misleading because they can represent very temporary reactions of the market. To plot support and resistance levels, you only want the intentional movements and not the temporary reactions. When you plot the support and resistance of a market, you want to divide them into zones so that you can see true peaks and valleys. These zones will help you determine true breaks in support and resistance rather than the false ones that can cause you to lose a lot of money. Things to remember about support and resistance. When a price tests a level of support or resistance often, it's making the resistance or support stronger. The strength of a support or resistance break depends on how strong the support or resistance had been before it was broken. 
When a price rises through resistance, that resistance could possibly become support later on. Trend Lines Trend lines are the most prevalent method of technical analysis on Forex. However, they often aren't used correctly, which can make them irrelevant. Trend lines must be drawn correctly in order for them to provide you with accurate information. You can't try to make the line fit the market. The market has to fit the line. Essentially, to draw a trend line accurately, you first need to locate two major highs, resistance and two major lows, support. Then, draw a line between the two points. It really is that simple. If you are tracking a downward trend, your trend line will be drawn on top of the peaks, and if you were tracking an upward trend, your trend line will be drawn below the valleys. There are three kinds of trends that you will need to analyze as a forex trader. Uptrends, tracking an upward movement. Downtrends, tracking a downward movement. And sideways trends, tracking a relative little movement either way.